Alberta, we're fortunate, really, to be able to breathe good air quality almost all of the time. There are some situations, however, where we do get air quality events. Some of these are, uh, for example, we get forest fire smoke uh, from major fires in uh, Alberta, British Columbia, adjacent provinces that are blown into the major cities and uh, the fine particulate matter from these forest fires can be a human health concern. Air quality is monitored at approximately 100 monitoring stations throughout the province, much like the one we see behind us here. Uh, we monitor for a number of different pollutants. It varies from location to location, but some of the pollutants include nitrogen dioxide, particulate matter, uh, ozone, sulfur dioxide, hydrogen sulfide, and we do also monitor for over 150 individual volatile organic compounds and also the composition of the particulate matter in the air. Data is uh, transmitted electronically from the air monitoring stations around the province to a central database management system and then it's uploaded to Alberta Environment and Sustainable Resource Development's website where we can convert it to the, what's called the Air Quality Health Index. The Air Quality Health Index is a public information tool which is used to bring air quality information to the public and relate it to a person's health. Albertans can use the Air Quality Health Index to plan their activities. So if they find that the Air Quality Health Index in their community is high risk, they might want to reschedule their activities outdoors or move their activities indoors. The Air Quality Index can also be used by people who have pre-existing conditions like asthma or heart disease. So they can use it to monitor their conditions and speak with their doctor about when they might need to reschedule activities outside based on the, the value of the Air Quality and Health Index. The Air Quality Health Index uses a 1 to 10 scale, which is similar to the UV index. And basically, as the number gets higher, the health risk due to air pollution gets higher. So uh, 1 to 3 is low risk. 4, 5, and 6 is moderate risk, and then high risk is 7 to 10. And occasionally the number can go above 10 if there is a severe quality event like something like forest fire. 